Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about how station models represent wind and precipitation. So precipitation is anything that comes out of cloud, clouds. This can be snow, rain, hail, etc. And precipitation is represented by a number in the bottom right corner of your station model. So in this case, 0.25 just represents 0.25 inches of precipitation in the past six hours. So whatever number you have here is however many inches of precipitation you have in the past six hours. Next, um, we'll talk about wind speed. Wind speed is represented by these tiny lines kind of protruding out of the end of the station model. Um, and these tiny lines are re represent wind speed and they have the unit of knots. One knot is 1.5 miles per hour and a knot is a very common unit we use for wind speed. Now the bigger line right here is called a whole feather and the bigger line represents 10 knots. The smaller line right here is called a half feather, and the smaller line represents five knots. And all you need to do to figure out what the wind speed is, is add up the knots. So if this is 10 knots, the bigger line, and this is five knots, the smaller line, then 10 plus 5 is 15. So your total wind speed is 15 knots. That's it. So you might have more of the bigger lines or more whole feathers or the smaller lines, more half feathers. And depending on how many you have, you just add them up and that will be your wind speed. So go ahead and pause this video. Try number seven. Base your answers to the following questions on the station models below, which show various weather conditions recorded at the same time on the same day at four different cities. Which wind speed was recorded in Detroit? The correct answer is 25 knots. So remember, we're looking at these small lines. The smaller one is 5. The bigger lines are 10. So 5 plus 10 plus 10 is 25 knots. Pause this video and try number 8. Which city had the lowest relative humidity? The correct answer is A, Chicago. Chicago has the lowest relative humidity because the air temperature is farthest away from the dew point compared to all the other cities. Utica, notice, has the highest relative humidity because the air temperature is very close to the dew point. And that means that it's very likely to rain in Utica. Next, wind direction is shown by this long line here where the feathers come out from, right? So wind direction, uh, it gives you in the explanation the, the direction in which the long stick is pointing towards is actually where the direct wind is coming from. So in this case, the, the, the stick is pointing towards the southwest. So the wind direction is from the southwest. Remember, it's showing where the wind is coming from. And if you don't remember this, look at your example. It says from the southwest. That will help you figure out that it's actually showing where it's coming from. So go ahead and try question number nine. Actually, skip this question and come back to it. I'll tell you when to come back to it. Um, first, we have to talk about air pressure for you to combine what we learned about air pressure with wind speed. So skip this video, uh, skip this question for now. Try question number 10, though. Base your answers to the following questions on the station model below and on your knowledge of earth science. What are the wind direction and wind speed at this location? The correct answer is C. Wind is coming from the southeast at 25 knots. Remember the long line, the long stick is uh, shows where the wind is coming from. In this case, the southeast. And the smaller lines or feathers represent how the wind speed in knots. So remember the bigger lines are 10. The smaller one is 5. 10 plus 10 plus 5 is 25 knots. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how station models represent barometric pressure.